So, we're on this wall of the city after we just ate. I was drinking beer. So we practice in solo travel today because again he's been suffering with a with a migraine and um, he's had a hard time um, breaking it. So solo travel for me today, and I'm headed off to Central Palace, um, Pena Palace, and uh, looking forward to it. If you're looking for a great afternoon solo tour in Portugal. My first recommendation would be to head to the stunning Peña Palace. This colorful palace, perched high on a hilltop in Sintra, is one of the most beautiful and unique landmarks in Portugal and is definitely worth a visit. The palace was built in the 19th century and is a blend of Neo-Gothic, Neo-Manuline and Islamic styles, which make it a truly original and fascinating destination. The vibrant colors of the palace also add to the uniqueness of this attraction. Think bright pinks, yellows, and purples. The palace is set within a beautiful park, which includes lush gardens and hidden paths to explore. As a solo traveler, exploring the palace and the park on your own gives you a wonderful sense of freedom and independence. You can take your time, admire the breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape, and take as many photos as you like and simply soak up the atmosphere at your own pace. where the Peña Palace is. Um, it's completely cute. It's actually very packed here for being February, but I'm enjoying it. So what does a tour like this cost? So the tour for us, this tour cost us about $299, so $150 a piece. Um, this again is a private tour, remember, and it's all day long. So you have a private dot driver and the tour who is the tour guide and he takes you everywhere. He picks you up, he drops you off, he moves you along the area, he makes suggestions um, all along the way of things that you might want to see or do you want to stop here um and then during that period of time you know you have lunch or coffee or something which is what i did throughout throughout the day uh, along this tour but i i do like a private tour also because you have more time if i've been to a destination before i'll usually just go on my own but if i hadn't been there i usually want a little perspective from the locals and I want to hear their stories and everything like that. That's what makes world travel for me. That's what we enjoy. We enjoy hearing the uh, locals perspective and who knows in the future we may be looking somewhere we can go live and retire. So we have no idea what's in store for us later on uh, but we're looking at possible retirement places that we may want to spend some time when we're not in the Winnie. I film everything from the Winnie now. I like the, the lighting is good. 
the lighting's good in the Winnie, so she's good. So you'll see her uh, throughout this uh, year as we take her to a couple of different uh, destinations. And I'll do a Winnie tour too. Um, we just call her Winnie. She's a Winnebago uh, adventurer. And everybody gives their RVs names. And um, we weren't that creative and we just call her Winnie. So coming to you live from Winnie's. Sintra is an incredible town filled with culture, history, and incredible beauty. On a day trip, you'll be able to visit some of the most impressive attractions around the area, including the palaces, the castles, and the charming town. Sintra is undoubtedly a gem, and you should definitely put it on your list if you're traveling to Portugal, especially if you're going to be around the Lisbon region. All in all, it was a fantastic trip to Sintra. And if you hadn't had a chance, please click that subscribe and follow button so you'll get notified when we create new videos. Our channel is all about travel and we do all styles of travel. Everything from military space A travel to RV travel to of course world travel. Join us, the Gunny and the Grandma, and come along for the ride. Ciao.